Behold, the Godot web editor. For those of you who don't know, Godot has a web editor, and it's not like a, like a, like a featureless or like a demo thing. Well, that's what it's intended for, for, for demonstration purposes, but it is a full-fledged um, version of Godot that runs in your web browser. And I, as far as I can tell, uh, well, I'm sure some people have tried, but I've never seen somebody make a game in the web editor um, just, uh, you know, without using your onboard um, system at all. Uh, and this would actually be sort of a, a milestone. It would mean things like Chromebooks and um, web-based devices could actually um, participate in game development to some to some degree. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's see what we can do. Um, new project. Um, let's call it. Uh, oh man, what do I call it? That should do it. Let's pick a folder. Um, ignore this thing. Let's just make a new folder. Um, there we go. And create an edit. All right. Let's just give it a second. It is running in the web browser, so it might take a little... Oh, there we go. All right, well, I will get to work, and I'll get back to you once I have an idea, I guess. Right, so I've um, I've made my little character, and I made just nice a nice little platform here for them to stand on. But um, unfortunately, I cannot get the actual thing to um, to play to uh, to load up. Um, I was able to do it just once. You may have seen that in the time lapse. Um, but yeah, I can't um, I can't get it to happen again. So, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to have to keep building the game and then hope everything works out like it should. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, um, so I've hit another another major snag. Um, I can't actually export um, the project in order to test it, um, because as I said earlier, I can't test it in the editor for an unknown reason. But apparently, this is actually um, this is this is not a me problem. This is a limitation with the current state of the online editor, um, and you need to do something else in order to um, use your project. So. I'm gonna figure that out, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it gets me. All right. So um, I was able to download the 
the um, the files itself, um, but not the not not export the game. So I just downloaded the project files, and then I put it or I opened it up with Godot on my computer, um, which sort of defeats the whole purpose. If in order to test it, you need to have Godot on your computer. Um, but like I said, I think that was just like a glitch or just um, a problem with my browser. Because I think you need to use a certain a certain browser um, to actually um, to use the web editor properly. Uh, it, it was like you need to use a Chromium browser or Firefox Nightly, and I'm just using regular Firefox. So you know, but uh, yeah, um, I tested it and is it and it it works as you would expect. Got a little cube moving around here, and I'm gonna have sort of a deal, sort of endless runner type deal with things flying at you. So, yeah. Back to the time lapse. Okay, I have sort of maybe. Oh, actually, I just remembered. I forgot to add the um, score label thing, but I've almost sort of pretty much finished the thing. Let's see if it works. It probably won't, but you know, we'll we'll see. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Well, as you can see, uh, we've got a little. I mean, hey. We've got a game, people. It's, uh... It's working. Sort of. I'm not gonna lie. Using that web editor... Web editor is, um... Pretty annoying. Uh, especially since I can't... Test my project. Um... While using it. I have to export it every single time I want to test it. Um... So, um... Yeah, I'm just... I think I'm just gonna finish... Finish, finish it up. Right here. Uh, on my computer, um, instead of using the web editor, and then I'll I'll get back to you once I've finished that, and it'll just be a couple minutes. All right, here's our little finished product. See your little score counter there. Move around this little box here, and if we get hit by one of the enemies, uh, we lose. And there's our score. So um, yeah, is it possible to make a game with the Godot web editor? Yes, it's kind of buggy. It's laggy. Um, I, that didn't really come across in the time lapse, but it, it was, it was rather laggy. Um, so laggy, buggy. Right now, um, obviously, um, I mentioned that earlier because apparently, you just uh, you need to use a certain browser or something. I don't know. Point is, um, this is in early development still. The Godot web editor. But it has a lot of potential, I think, for, um, you know, uh, making game development more accessible. And, um, yeah, um, I think it's, I, I think it's got a lot of potential, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the video, I guess. Goodbye.